Hello everyone and welcome back to Tiny and Big. So, this level, I've recorded it two times already, so I know more or less what I should do. First time, I had problems with the in-game sound. It maxed out in, uh, like, the sound levels in Fraps, so it was a lot of clicking and things like that. Nothing good. And the second time, I forgot to record my voice. And that's not good either. So I've played this... Yeah, two times already. Let's just jump down here. And go around. And down. This area here is mostly as dark. And you can't see where you should go. And that's the puzzle. And yeah, let's just blow that away. Jump down. Can jump down again. But th this area, the, pu pro the problem you have with it is that it's dark. And you can't see where you should go. The puzzle is like... Cut down this obvious thing! After you've seen it, you know what to do. Like, pillars like this in the roof. You just should cut up here and over there. But that won't work because of the angle thing, so let's just cut some more. Hello. Good. That's bad. First time that happened to me, at least. So that's something. I think the other times it just fell down perfectly. And I don't know if you need to get over there. Okay, I have an extra pillar here I can use. Hopefully. Good. And the left side fell down. So I probably only need to cut it on one side. Let's just jump over. And we should just keep going down. There's a lot of moving down in this level. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. I can't do a lot about it. Let's cut this thing here. Taking forever. Good. Don't... I think I should cut it again. Maybe like that. Okay, now rocket's time. Rocket away! But I wanted to show you one thing I don't like in this game. So you see, I can cut to this thing here. But if I jump up here, I can't cut it. I wanted to be able to cut things through each other. But no, that's too complex or something. I don't know. I don't know why I can't do it in this game. And also one thing I noticed on this level, the height you can fall. Okay, there's something leaning on this thing, so I might be able to drag it backwards. Okay, can't. I can move it backwards, but it takes forever. Cut it in the middle, maybe. And then rock it away, something. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Maybe from a sign to the side. Okay, I'm using a rocket on the lower thing, but the top is moving. Yeah, it's okay, it's because of the angle. Not so weird as I thought it would be from the start. Okay. This is weird. It shouldn't work like this from two different angles. It should only do it like that from one angle. I think I okay, can almost jump up on it. Just carve aside, and I might, yeah, I cut through the thing behind it. <clears throat> so if I should be able to cut things that I can't see, make it so I can cut things that I can't see, always. Instead of having it, oh, now you can do it, oh, okay. 
get. I thought I had screwed myself there, but I haven't, hadn't, so that's good. But I wanted to be consistent. It's better to have a puzzle game where the game mechanics are consistent throughout everything. Like if you, you're a certain size, then you're all certain size all the time. Except if something has happened that changes your size. I also noticed that most things in this game have weird hitboxes. So some things you can like stand in the air from and other things you can't. And have it one way. I prefer if you can't stand in the air at all, but I'd rather have it be able to stand in there always than crap. Yeah. I have actually never seen that scene before. I haven't lost the pants. I just tried to make it faster this time. I think I dropped it down from here before. Just like this. And now I see it two times in a row. <coughs> and I can't skip that cutscene. Please make me able to skip all cutscenes. Because I don't really care about them. I play this game for the mechanics, not for the story, or cutscenes or anything like that. Let's just push it into place. Push it in. Good! Let's just drop it down and walk around. Okay, don't think we should go down, down here. Okay, might be able to drop down here actually. And here. I think that was a bit of a faster way to go than you could do. So that's good. And I should probably mention it in this video as well. So I'm planning to have a live stream this weekend. But I don't know when exactly right now. But if you have suggestions on which games I should play. Preferably games that I have, but I have it because it's easier that way. And I almost stepped out there and died. Let's move that thing. Here. And I almost fell down and died. Okay. Let's just cut this thing up. Below the top away. Jump up. Here are some things you can't walk over. These. You need to jump over them. First time I thought... Oh, there's an invisible wall. wall. I can't go here. Because I didn't see the little thing. I just... <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Okay. Is this better? Yeah, that's better. Rocket! Away! No? And I don't understand rocket. Sometimes... It moves things really, really fast. Other times, I can understand why it doesn't move it fast when I have it in that angle. But does it only move things fast when they are going straight and not up things or something like that? I don't know. Let's cut these things. Probably just cut it here. And this thing here as well. Good. And I just fell off. I'm bad. I'm horrible at platforming. 3D platforming. I haven't played a lot of 2D platforming. So I might try that someday. 
I think I got Super Meat Boy at the Steam sale, it was like 90% off. Okay, should probably take the slide here. It's going on the side. Jumping! Let's take this rock. Jumping! Where to go? Should I cut that thing up? Maybe? I don't know. Can I fall down here? I don't know if I survive it, but I hope. Okay. Where to go now? This is something really big and dark. Can I cut it? No. Can I go here? Maybe. Then I need to cut this thing up. That's the rocket. Don't want to use a rocket. I want to cut it and cut it good. Hmm. That was weird. And I stepped off the edge again. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really, really bad. There's at least a good amount of checkpoints in this game. Oh, I don't I don't know if I went down here last time. So I probably went the wrong way. Or an optional way or something. Okay, where should I go now? Probably here. So cut that thing. Get it dropped down, jump on top of it. Like that. And going forward. And this actually looks like it's another wave than I took last time. Can probably jump this distance. Yeah, it was close, but I could. Should I drop down here? Looks like it. Hopefully I can drop down here. And I could. Nice. Can I cut that? It looked really unsafe, but I could do it. But the question is, was it a good idea? Probably not, because it looks like I should go up there. So what happens if I cut this? It falls down. So I might have ruined my chances now. But I don't think I can jump up 10 of these without anything for like to stand on. Let's cut this thing here. Good. Can we cut cut this thing as well? Right now I want building platforms that I can use. So now I have two at least. Good. Push! Push! <coughs> I'm really strong, I can push them. This might make us able to go for forward. But I don't know. I've probably pushed the other thing off the edge right now. That's a bit out of the edge. But now I might be able to jump on top. And I wasn't able to. So let's retry that and do not... Okay, we didn't even have to go back that far. So I need that rock. I need to cut that rock. I need to move that rock. And hopefully the rock won't crush me. I think that should work. Yeah, good. Okay, this one is a bit too high, so move it a bit with the rocket. As I want to be able to just move it a little, and then stop, and then move it again without moving, or without... Sh you need to shoot another rocket, or shoot another rocket at, at it. Crap! Okay, where to go? Jump here, probably. Jump down here, and here. No, I think there's not a lot of platforming left, and I thought I would fall down there. 
didn't, so that's great. Fell down! Again! <clears throat> I think the mechanics of this game is interesting. They could be a lot more interesting if they were consistent. I hate those small ho holes in the ground. They don't add anything to the game. Anything good to the game. Because I don't think people play this game because it should be a platformer. Okay, I just lost that thing. Maybe push it by hand instead. Couldn't push that one. Can I push this one? Good. Let's... Can I drag the underpants up? Okay, that's the rocket. Okay, I probably need some sort of ramp. That might work. Okay. It is probably a bit too high. So I want to push it down. And there I wanted to make a new rocket instead of using the old one. And if you had two separate buttons, one for making a rocket and one for firing a rocket, I wouldn't have done that mistake. Let's push this one to the side a bit so I can get out this thing. Can I get it, please? Move it. I should probably cut this up bit more. Like, I, I don't think I cut anything else. Okay, I did. Yeah, that was really, really bad. Now I might be screwed. I like at least that most of the time you have more than one tool to do a job. But usually there's one really... It's really uh, a lot better than others. What? That's new. I did not know that. <coughs> <coughs> I did not know that I could push things away with this tool. I did not know that at all. And I don't think it ever happened to me before. Good. I think... And I don't like that you can't jump when you're drag, drag, you're dragging something. Because why not? Why shouldn't you be able to drag something? Or jump when you drag something? It's not like if I walk forward, the rope is holding me. Or the weight is making me unable to drag the thing. Let's see, can I? Yes, I can. Good. I got the underpants. A bit more. Just a bit more. Maybe if I reconnect. Good. Don't fall down. Don't fall down, power underwear. It's the most powerful underwear in the galaxy! Okay, good. Could jump down there to save a couple of seconds. Don't think there's any good shortcuts. Okay, there are one at least. Okay, a couple. Can I go down further on this? Yes, I can, but... Nothing good will come from that. So let's just go not around the building. Just cut these things. Here. Okay, going up. Uh, as you might see here, they're not really hard puzzles here. Just can't see. And um, that's really annoying. Let's just cut this thing here. Maybe need to cut it again. Okay, 
there there are some little things. I should just drag these blue boxes down and they despawn when you get the cut cutscene. So there are magical rocks that despawn when you move them. So they must be really really unstable or something like that. That's too far away, I guess. And wh why could I shoot laser here? Let's go back here. So that's too far away, and that rock here, I just didn't have a like line through it, so I shouldn't have been able to cut it. But I were able to have a laser, and I noticed. What Dragging is really good here to drag this thing down and it looks actually like the pillar itself protected me from the rocks he is trying to throw at me and that's also strange if that's happening your boss fight thing shouldn't really protect you 100% from the things Let's just drag this down, and I think I finished it. Yeah, I did. So if you like this video, like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.